Okay, so let's take our spline and open it in Cinema 4D. Just press OK like this, and all you have to do now is just take this and put it inside inside a late nerves. Except not like this, of course. We need to rotate the we need to rotate it just a little bit so it so it's um, what is it? So it's displayed properly, right? So let's just take the pivot point, put it back to the origin, and rotate it up like this. And I'm not sure if this will work, it shouldn't, but it... Yes, and it didn't, which is okay, that makes sense. Let's just take away the late nerves, maybe put it... Oh, sorry, we need to move the late nerves, of course, to the origin as well. And now, yeah, that worked, perfect. Okay, so that, that that's that. Of course, we need to increase our rotational segments a little bit, because you can see these steps right here. You don't want to want the number to be too high because otherwise, of course, all our physics simulations and our renders and everything will be slower. So you want to find sort of always want to find sort of this this economical middle ground that will be somewhere between fast and looking okay. So I guess 64 might be about right, probably. So let's just name this uh, shell. A. And what we need to do next is actually scale it down because we need everything to be a realistic size. The reason for that is because we are using a backbite for which we know our aperture and the sensor size because we will be using Cinema 4D's physical render to actually create our depth of field. Now, the physical render requires everything to be real scale because we are import inputting real sensor size data and real world real world world it's a horrible word real world aperture size of course so everything else needs to be real real size as well makes sense hopefully yes so we need to scale this down of course the shell and i guess a shell size is somewhere around two centimeters i'm kind of pretty sure actually so let's just scale this down so it's right there, approximately two centimeters. Now let's just be crazy and try to catch exactly two, if it's possible. No, no, no. We got one nine, one nine, 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 nine. Anyway, doesn't matter. And that's pretty <laughs> close enough. So that's how we could do this using a spine. And next, I will show you how to do this using a cylinder.